Hello, it's Anne. Um, I've been asked to do a series uh, on uh, glass which gives a, a different effect and uh, I'm starting with dichroic glass. So dichroic glass, I have a, a selection here of dichroic glass. What it is, is glass which has been uh, covered by a very 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 thin layer or several very very thin layers of uh, metal oxides which will act as optical filters and they will filter uh, some wavelengths so they will filter some colors of light so what does it mean in practice it means that if you look through them you which it is not really easy to to show on the camera but uh, you can see that when i move it changes color okay so when you see the reddish color in this case it's red it's it means that you're looking through the glass and so only the red light is reflected if i look at them uh, by reflection which means i look at the at the uh, light which is reflected from the glass you see that it's blue so depending on whether you let the light go through it or whether you um, put it on something dark which will mean that you will only see the mirror effect so the light which is reflected you will see one set of color or uh, another okay the complementary set so you can see here if i put it on a dark background i have here a piece of black you will only see the reflected light and the reflected light for this particular type of glass is green but if i put it only on transparent glass and this is what's really difficult to show you on camera oh you can see here okay i'm looking through it and there isn't anything behind it to reflect the light so i'm looking through it and then i can see the red color so depending on how you're going to use them you'll have uh, one set of color of colors sorry or the other so the dichroic glass I have here is from um, the uh, brand uh, CBS. It's uh, made on uh, transparent effetry uh, sheet glass. So it's fully compatible with effetry. And you can see it comes in different patterns with different color effects. Um, they're very, they very often do rainbow patterns, which is what I like best. And so here you have something which looks a little bit like a leopard print. So I don't know if you can see the two colors as I move. This is the, ref um, the color that when the light is going through and this here is the color when it's being reflected, okay? We have here some square, square patterns here. So here I have a pattern which is more uh, organic you know like a little bit like roots of our ferns and um, to use this glass you have to be very very careful never to put the dichroic coating directly in the flame so i can't right now uh, film uh, my torch but uh, I, I will do so uh, at one point and so imagine my hand is the flame so it's coming from here you must make sure that it's the glass side here the one that has no coating which is hit by the flame otherwise the coating which is really fragile will burn off and make something like a powdery white substance which has which has absolutely no interest at all okay so you can usually see very uh, clearly which side has the dry dichroic coating and which side has the clear glass and if you if you can't if you're not sure just touch the glass and you will see if you're here my nail if the reflection of my nail uh, doesn't touch the nail it means that i'm on the glass side and that's the side that goes uh, in direct contact with the flame if my nail the, ref the image of my nail touches it, uh, itself then it means i'm on the dichroic side and uh, you don't want to do that because you're going to burn it if you put this side uh, in the flame okay you might have seen uh, other colors of dichroic glass these are all transparent because it's my personal preference but you can also find glass rods or you could i don't know if they are still being made but glass rods uh, effetry gla glass rods which have the dichroic coating directly on the rod it's usually unprotected and it there when the rod is um, 
round it's a little bit more difficult to put it in the flame without burning the dichroic coating so i strongly suggest if you have that kind of rod to first uh, coat it with a layer of clear before using it of course you must do that uh, while, uh, uh, while not putting the dichroic coating in the flame okay only the clear that you're putting on top of it is going through the flame I don't have any, so I can't uh, show you how it looks, but it, it's really like a, a regular rod in different colors, and uh, it, it has a dichroic coating on one side. So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and tell me in the comments if there are other uh, topics that you would like me to uh, talk about. See you, bye!